Good evening. Welcome again to Compline at Clarence. Monday evening, a new week has begun. I hope you've had a good weekend and are already enjoying the, the week that is being born this, this new week. It'll be good to spend some time today uh, examining the day that has just gone. Monday is the beginning of something, the beginning of a new week, a new working week, a new week that is open before us. So let's spend some time tonight just thinking about what has happened today already, but also what is to come in the week ahead. We're going to spend 20 minutes or so as we contemplate what is possible tomorrow and the next day and the day after that. Using our usual blend of music and imagery and scriptures and prayers, we'll spend some time in peace at the end of our day. So let's pray together. Let's pray together. Creator God, beauty ever ancient, ever new, send your peace into our hearts and minds this night. Fill the cold darkness with your comforting warming light. We come with our jumbled thoughts our memories of blessings and struggles. Centre us again in this moment. Give us peace from our anxious thoughts. Awaken our senses and set our souls on fire again with your love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We begin by asking Christ to shine his light into our hearts, to guide us and to protect us this night. You might, uh, might like to say these words with me. Christ as a light, illumine and guide me. Christ as a shield, overshadow me. Christ under me, Christ over me, Christ beside me on my left and my right. I wonder if you follow the tradition of giving thanks before you eat. I must admit it's not something that I regularly do myself. But when I'm with people who do follow the custom, it's always leave, left an impression on me. The act is really simple. We pause before eating to remember that this food has come from somewhere. It didn't just appear on our plate. Someone grew the crops and harvested them. Someone else transported them. 
someone else prepared them, and maybe someone else cooked them for us. A whole chain of people involved in bringing that food to your plate. And ultimately we remember that the whole chain is started and sustained by God. He gives growth to the plant, energy to the worker and skill to the cook. It's a joint effort. And if one link of that chain were to break, our plates would be suddenly empty. To give thanks is to recognise that we're not always in control. That we depend on the work of others and on the provision of God. So let's spend a few minutes now to remember the things we have enjoyed today. That cup of coffee to get you going in the morning. The car that took you to work or to the shops. The technology that allows you to join me this evening. Spend a moment now saying thank you. Some of the more moving moments in the New Testament are when we get a glimpse into the relationship between those very early Christians. I'd like to give you an example of what I mean. Here are some words from Paul's letter to the Philippians, chapter 1. I thank my God every time I remember you. In all my prayers for all of you, I always pray with joy. If you were writing a letter today, who would you be thankful for tonight? Bring to mind those people who are a blessing to you, who have been good for you. And say thank you to God. If we were sat having a coffee together now, I might be able to ask you how your day was. Unfortunately, we're not together having a coffee, but I still want to ask you that question. What would you say to me? Maybe you'd be polite and just tell me some of the good things that happened. Maybe you'd be honest and share some of the struggles or the challenges of today. So I'm going to ask you two questions and give you time to bring the answer to your mind. And instead of telling me, tell God. What thing made your day harder today? A person who got on your nerves, a piece of news which upset you, an annoying problem or a technical issue. Bring it to mind and tell God about it.
So what thing made your day better today? A good conversation, an unexpected piece of good news, an autumn walk, a breakthrough in some aspect of your life, an answered prayer. Again, bring that to mind and speak to God about that good thing. It's that time again, honesty. We all carry within us conflicting impulses, don't we? We have ideals about who we might be. But then someone goes really slow when you're in a hurry and somehow the, the car horn gets pressed. We know we're not perfect. We don't match up to our own ideals and we often ignore those things that would make us better human beings. Let's do what the 12 step programs call a fearless moral inventory. Where we are fearlessly honest with ourselves and God about the ways we've not lived well with others today. And in being honest, we take away the power of that thing to define who we are. And we remember that we are more than our mistakes, more than our failures. So let's be honest. Jesus said, your sins are forgiven. In the name of the Father who created you and waits to welcome you home. In the name of the Son who searches for you. In the name of the Spirit who brings the healing of forgiveness and calls you to do the same. You have been set free. Monday has always been a day of possibility in my mind. 
I know it's all arbitrary, but in my mind, Monday is the beginning of a, a week that has not yet come into being. All sorts of things might be possible this week, and in some ways it's really exciting. But also you might already know what this week holds for you, and you might not find it exciting. But let's end this evening by inviting God into the week ahead of us. Ask him to give you courage and expectation. What new things might burst into your life this week? Spend a few moments thinking about that now. You might like to join me in praying this closing prayer, asking God to encircle us with his love and his protection. Let's pray. Circle me, Lord. Keep protection near and danger afar. Circle me, Lord. Keep light near and darkness afar. Circle me, Lord. Keep peace within, keep evil out. It's been really good having you with me again this Monday night as we begin a new week together. Let's close together as I offer you this blessing. The peace of all peace be yours this night, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.